Hey there YouTube, Samurai Jack here with Thou Laws of Thunder Junction. At least with the play booster. And yeah, I think we my uh, friend's shop was able to have these in stock. Got some sleeves just in case we pull something good. Treasure token. Forest. Holy cow, a holy cow. Queer shot. Tie walk in, perfect shot. Red wide, two, three, human, legendary human mercenary. Whenever source you control deals non-combat to a creature. It deals non-combat damage to a creature equal to that creature's toughness, draw a card. See that much plus X. Four seeking minor. Get away glamour at knife point. Deputy. Reach for the sky. Steer clear. Prickly pair. Frontier Seeker. Foil Festering Gulch. Golgari Desert. A tra Foil Trained Arnix. Imp's Mischief. One in black for an instant to choose target. Choose the target of target spell with a single target. Lose life equals the spell's mana value. Ooh! And we get the cool wanted Count the Kid. 3-3 three, three for a Bant Human Fairy Rogue with Flying Wife Link. Cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand. You may cast a permanent spell with equal or lesser mana value from your hand without paying its mana cost. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Alright, there we go. Alright, other cards here. Betrayal at the Vault. Badlands Revival. Aloe Alchemist. Overzealous Muscle. Though I'll kind of laugh if for some reason Holy Cow is like super expensive foil. Because, <laughs> you know, it's a pun. Alright. 3 1 Human Warrior. Trample Haste. Another Festering Gulch. Desert's do. Oof. Indomitable Creativity. X3 Red. Sorcery. Destroy X. Artifacts and creatures. For each permanent destroy this way. Reveal cards from the top of the library until an artifact or creature is revealed. And exile that card. Those players put the exile cards onto the battlefield. And we get a Breaches. Blastmaster in the Wanted format. And a R Rise of the Varmints. Lassoed by the Law. This robber, lone shark. Oh yeah, last I checked, I think this card was like uh, an all-star in back when Kaladesh was out. And yeah, breaches. Uh, the game nights just came out as I am recording this, so. You know, Jimmy played that as its commander. Basically, coin flip style deck where it, where it, the second spell you win the flip, you make a copy of the spell, and if it's a tails, damage equal to the cut value. Let's see, a gnome from the vault, uh, lonely royal, a foil runnest uh, redstein. Back for more. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it fights up to one creature you don't control. Another round. Double X, two and a white. Sorcery, exile any number of creatures you control, then return them to the battlefield under your control. Repeat the process X times. 
No spur brute. Trash to town. Unfortunate accident. Ram Herd Whisperer. Two one bat token. Swamp. Scroll Drudgery. Thornado. Two in green to destroy creature with flying or cycle with of one in green. Ooh, ooh sword of wealth and power. The three mana equipment with that gives equip creature plus two plus two and protection from its sorceries. When it deals combat damage to a player, create treasure token. When you cast your next, when you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy it and choose new targets. Along with a stoic Phoenix. No doubt the gonna be the all star in draft uh, format since uh, as long as it's your as long as you happen to cast a spell this turn it has hex proof and it also, and also with flash so pretty good there so you can do end step stuff thunder lasso and a marauding sphinx Nice. Foil Forest and a Mirage Mesa. Along with a Pest Infestation. Double X and a green. Destroy up to X target artifacts or enchantments. Create twice X pests. Hmm. Seems like a card from uh, Strixhaven. And an Ornery Thumblewag. Two and a green for the 2-2 Bushwag Mount. Be gain of combat on your turn. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. When it attacks, whenever it attacks, boss, I'll double the number of 1-1 one -one counters on target creature. A Visage Bandit. Shankle Sweaker. Gila Corsair. Crom Violent Cacophony. Art card for Tiny Bones. Foil Bursween Backwoods and a Stop Cold. Void Rend. For Esper, a spell can't be countered. Destroy target non land permanent. And Vladimir New Blood. One in the black for the legendary vampire rogue. Whenever you commit a crime, put a target counter put a one one counter on Vladimir when we want to each turn. And as long as Vladimir has four more counters on it, has menace and lifelink. Doom Trawler, lassoed by wall. Jolene, thundering puglist. Armored armadillo. <laughs> Heath, blood hustler. Essence capture two blue for an instant to put a counter counter target creature spell and then put a one one counter on up to one target creature you control. Uh, Kellen joins up. Legendary enchantment uh, when it enters the battlefield. Exile a non land card with mana three or value from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on each creature you control. Stubborn burrow fiend. Form a posse. Another blood hustler. Another bat token. Another heath. Foil drover grizzly. Cruel ultimatum. Oh boy, an iconic spell back from Malaro, reprinted a couple times. But the two blue, triple black, and two red for the sorcery of target opponent sacrifices creature. Discard three cards, lose his life, and lose uh, five life. 
And then you return a creature card from your graveyard to hand, draw three, and gain five life as we also get into the Lost Gite. The one mana equip from one when a cre creature deals combat damage, put a charge counter on the Gite, and then remove a charge counter to choose untapping a land. Creature can't block, or a 1 1 counter. Also, Fortune Loyal Steed. 2 and a white for the 2 4 Beast Mount. When it enters the battlefield, scry 2, and when it attacks while saddled, at the end of combat, exile it and up to one creature that saddled it. And good for Boinks. Red Rock Sentinel. Lively Dirge. Metamorphic Blast. Izumi Link Breaker. Let's see, Void Slime in the uh, new uh, newspaper, old timey newspaper format. Foil Basic Mountain. Take up Shield. Ooh, okay, Leyline Binding. Five and a white. Enchantment, Flash, Domain Expansion, where it costs one last to cast for each basic land type among the lands you control. And when it enters the battlefield, it exile target non land permanent opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. And it's a Taro the Infiltrator, Infiltrator, blue and a black for a 2-3 human ninja rogue with menace. And whenever it and or one or more creature, non -to other non-token creatures enter the battlefield, see no mana was spent to cast, draw a card. The Boombox, Doc Orlock Grizzle Genius, Canyon Crab with the uh, autograph. Bluffs. And Foil Alchemist. Repulse. Ooh! Going from the art card to the card itself. Giant Bones Pickpocket. The 1 1 Skeleton Rogue with Death Touch. And when it deals combat damage. Whenever Tiny Bones deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target non white card from that player's graveyard. Ooh. Requisition Raid, Sandstorm Verge, Rackish Crew. Tiny Bones joins up. And the art card. Heath, make your luck. Murder. Territory Forge. Four and a red. For an artifact, when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, exile target artifact or land. Has all activated abilities of the exiled card. And Karavik the Punisher. One and two black for a 3 3 human warlock. Whenever you commit a crime, exile up to one target. Black card from your graveyard and copy it. You may cast a copy if you do at the you do if you do lose two life. Food token. Backwoods. Foil Paladin, Hindering Light, three steps ahead, one blue instant with Spree to also pay one in blue to counter target spell, an additional three to create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature in control, and an additional two to draw two and discard a card. Rizzo and Roadrunner, take for a ride, just gonna see if we'll get the, con with, get the duo. Meet me. Metamorphic Blast. Forest. Big Horn. Savage Smash. 
All right, interesting. Uh, special guest of Brazen Borrower, Barry Rogue 3 1, with the Petty Theft 1 Blue Adventure to return target permanent and opponent controls to hand and can only block creatures with flying. And then a Great Train Heist. Red and Spree to untap all creatures you control if it's your combat phase. Additional combat after this phase. Creatures get plus one, plus oh, and gain first strike. Target opponent. Whenever a creature you control deals damage, tap tre treasure token. Really need to check how the spree mechanic works with uh, Narset, because, you know, can cast the spell itself, but what about the spree stuff? Call crack. Island, rooftop assassin, another hindering light. Ooh, and yeah, one of the cards I forgot to mention, my friend, that I'm looking forward to. A cool, the unrepentant. Two black, two red, five five scorpion dragon rogue, flying trample. Sacrifice three other creatures, put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery once each turn. My odds would be better than the uh, Rakdos in my uh, Mardu deck. Because the goal is to make Goblin tokens and eventually they'll be used as uh, fodder. What do we do? Garwin Hero? Nice uh, Foil Swamp and an Outlaw Medic. Fell the Mighty, destroy all creatures with power greater than target creature's power. And Fiddle Tip, lost on the range. One and two blue for the legendary Homunculus with War 2. And look at the top card of your library at any time. Top card has Plot. Plot is equal to its mana cost. You may plot non on cards from the top of your library. Requisition Raid, Bovine Intervention, and a Canyon Crab, the card itself. Lush Oasis, Silver Deputy, Fierce Retribution, Legion Extruder, when it enters battlefield, 2 damage to any target, sacrifice another artifact, create a golem, and an outcast trail bra blazer, add one, when it enters out of one man of any color, Let's see, And yeah, there's also the Voltborn Tyrant that's among the Vault cards. So it'll be ironic that I don't pull it, but it gets me all these ones. Right, finally got a Mercenary token. Mountain. Oil Stoic Sphinx. Bedevil. Two black and red to destroy artifact, creature, or planeswalker. Hell to pay. X and red. X damage to target creature. Create a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to the number of X's damage. Servant of Stinger. Rattleback Apothecary. Bird of Joe. Frontier Mentor. Star Star Elemental, Planes, Luxurious Locomotive, Collective Defiance, oh yeah, from, I want to say Eldritch Moon, 1 and 2 red with an S weight of 1, choose 1 or more, target player discards all cards in their hand, and draws that many, 4 to creature, or 3 to opponent, Prince Walker, was kind of hoping it was the Vault. Born Tyrant, but we got the Ancient Cornucopia. Two in a green for an artifact that when you cast a spell that's one or more colors, gain life for each of that spell's colors once each turn, and tap to add a mana of any color. Uh, Lila Undefeated Slickshot. One, two, red. Three, three, human rogue with prowess. Whenever you cast a multi-colored instant sorcery, 
Exile that spell instead of putting it into graveyard as it resolves. If you do, it becomes plotted. And we pause them. Reflection, Stitcher, Lazal, Familiar Stranger. Oh, yeah, the going for that one card I just got from the. Uh... Right. Foil Demonic Ruckus. Back for more. Step Between Worlds. Three and two blue. Each player may shuffle their hand and graveyard into their library. Each player does who draw seven and exile between world step between worlds. Plot for four and two blue. Map the frontier. Replication. Dance at the tumbleweeds. Oh, I guess this is where the the elemental token kicks in. Where you know create an X screen elemental where X is the number of lands. Hard card. Request Lackey. Essence Capture. Pillage the Bog. Golgari for a sorcery. Look at the top X cards of your library where X is twice the number of lands you control. One at a hand and the rest in the bottle of library in random order. Emergent Haunting. Congregation Griff. Lively Dirge. Fake on Death. Gold Pan. An elk token, no doubt for Oko. Ooh, foil railway brawler. Three and two green for the five five rhino warrior with reach and trample. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a X plus one plus one counter where X is a power, and then three and green to plot. Buried in the garden. Ooh, and a reprinted Archangel of Tides. One in triple white for the 3-5 Angel, where, where as long as it's untapped, creatures can't attack you or Planeswalkers you control unless their controller pays one. And when it's attacking, can't block unless they pay one for each of those creatures. So the debate on putting this card in like uh, my Atroxa deck or my In Progress Hydra deck. Royal, Seize the Secrets, Electro Dominance, X2 Red, deals X damage to any target, casts a spell with mana by X or at. less for me hand without paying its mana cost. Rakdos joins up, three and uh... Rakdos. Black Red for the Legendary Enchantment. When, it, when the join up enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with two additional 1 1 counters on it. When a legendary you, legendary you control dies, this deals damage to equal to the creature's power to target opponent. Nice. Mobile Homestead. Nurturing Pixie. Bio Smasher. Gleefer, Gleeful Grenadier. Yeah, it's definitely crazy how the Omen has our will be our work in. Oko the ringleader. In art card form, Heartless Pillage, Foil, Skewer the Critics, and Calamity the Galloping Inferno Inferno. Four and two red for the four six horse mount with haste, out of one. When it attacks while well, saddled, choose a non-legendary creature that's out of this turn and create a tapped in attacking token that's a copy of it. Interpret Staple Master. Luxurious Locomotive. Gem Lightfoot Sky Explorer. Treasure Token, Planes, Visage Bandit, Dray to Nowhere. Don't 
Dust Animus. One in white for a spirit. Two, three flying. If you control five or more untapped lands. And there's with two additional one one counters with a lifelink. And plot of one in white. Shepherd of the Clouds. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Just gonna keep Oko there, cause that might be the closest we might get to getting Oko in this box. A Construct zero, 0 with uh, getting plus one, plus one for each artifact under our control. Patient Naturalist. The Ling. Free Strider, look out. Two and a green, three, three, Human Rogue with Reach. And uh, return the favor. And Scorpio's Contractor, Baron Betram Greywater. Oh, yep, it is the Strixhaven Pests. Forest. Laughing Jasper Flint. One in uh, black red for a 4 3 lizard rogue and creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries in addition to their other types at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile the top X cards of opponent target opponent's library where X is the number of outlaws under your control. Until end of turn, you may cast spells from among those cards and mana of any type can be spent to cast those spells. So yeah, I might consider this card in my uh, pirate deck since outlaws are also, since pirates are also outlaws. Oh, and we got a collector's cage, a ride down and a collector's cage. Let me just double check. All right, yeah, we're so you ride down, followed by a collector's cage. One in uh, white for an artifact with hideaway five. Put one one counter target creature control. Then if you control three or more creatures with different powers, you may play the exile card without paying its mana cost. And a bloom and marsh. Enters the battlefield tab. Then once you control two or fewer other lands. Nice. Honest Redstein normal. One one bird token. Reach for the sky. Dust bowl. The land that either taps or covers is three and tap to destroy a land. And a botanical sanctum. Ooh, nice. And we get a uh, Wily Duke Arlen. Oh, add in hero. One in uh, green white for a four two human ranger with vigilance. When it becomes tap, draw gain one life and draw a card. Definitely curiosity on how to do that with vigilance. But I'm sure a deck will find it, especially that uh, uh, one token maker one, uh, legendary from this set. Or Convoke. Art card of a cool. Very cool. Island. Repulse. Terminal Agony. Oh, what do you know? Speak of. Gearhead Mirror of the Wilds. Red, green, white, fur, the legendary human shaman with haste and non-token creatures you control. Have tap, create a token that's a copy of target token you control that entered the battlefield this turn. Speak of the card and they don't appear. So why didn't work when I mentioned Oko a lot? Take the fall, artless pillage. Aven Interpreter, Interrupter, 1 and 2 white for the 2-2 two, two, Bird Rogue, Flash Flying. Let's see when it enters the battlefield, exile target spell, it becomes plotted. Spells your opponents cast from graveyards or from exile cost two more to cast. So definitely got to be careful with that when I want to play my Narset deck or my uh, Sidisi deck.
Alright, down to six packs. If you made it this far, that means you do like uh, seeing my video on how lucky I can get. You know, leave a like and subscribe. Not sure. Yeah, leave a like and subscribe. Ooh, Fierce Retribution and then a Rakdos the Muscle. Two colorless, two black and a red for the 6-5 Demon Mercenary. Flying Trample, whenever you sacrifice another creature, exile cards. Equal to its mana value from the top of the target player's library. Until your next end step, you may play those cards and mana of any type can be spent to cast them. Sacrifice another creature. Rakdos gains indestructible. And tap. And do it the mine. Flying Vigilance with uh, power equal to the number of cards you've drawn this turn. Whenever you can emit a crime, crime, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Once each turn, and uh, another card that was modeled after a champion. Lava Spur Brutes. Uh, boots will no doubt be good and limited, but Commander, we got Swiftfoot Boots, so. Well, it gets cheaper, but, you know, Swiftfoot kind of beats it out. Stinger Back Terror, the Dragon Scorpion. Dance of Tumbleweeds. Decisive Denial. Final Showdown. All creatures lose, a, lose all abilities until on a turn. Choose a creature you control, gains indestructible, and destroy all creatures. Claim Jumper, two and a white for a 3 3 Rabid Mercenary with Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for a planes, put it on the battlefield tapped. If an opponent controls more lands than you, repeat this process once. If you search your library this way, shuffle. It's high noon. Uh, on the art. Food Token, Lush Oasis, Ankle Biter, Humiliate, Varaska joins up. Black Green, Enchantment, when it enters the battlefield to put a death touch counter on each creature you control. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, draw a card. Tumbleweed Rising. Final three. Swamp. Carrier Shrix Foil. Ride down. Seraphic Steed. Green White 2 2. Unicorn Mount. First Strike Lifelink. When attacks while saddled, create an angel token with flying. A Ruckus Entertainer. Brimstone Roundup, Nimble, Fake of Death, Faking Your Own Death, The Lone Shark, Clue Token, Foil Gem Lightfoot, Murder. Caustic Bronco, one in the black for a 2-2 Snake Horse Mount. When it attacks, reveal the top card of your library and put it on, into your hand. You lose life equal to the card's mana value if it wasn't saddled. Otherwise, each opponent loses that much life. Omen Port Vigilante. Russell Rowan Page, Beastbound Outcaster. And there we go. Cunning Coyote. Alright, final car, final pack. Let's see what's in it. Planes, Entertainer, 
Ooh, a fractured identity. And an Archmage's Newt. Because, yeah, with this one, exile target non land permanent. Each player other than its controller creates a token. That's a copy of it. All right. That's going to be all for this video. Until I get back to making uh, playthroughs or the, on the next set, I will see you then.